everyone. My name is Angie Arredondo. I'm the Education Program Coordinator for the Robin Betsy Wilder Wildlife Foundation. And in today's video, we're going to review how to set up a trail camera for you to use for research purposes, or if you just want to see maybe what's on your property, or you just want to get a cool glimpse of some things you might have around. So there's a couple of things you want to consider when you're setting up a trail camera. Uh, one is position. So we never set them facing east or west because that's the way that the sun rises and sets. So if we set them that way, then we're probably going to get some silhouetted uh, photos and or videos. We always set them facing north or south, so it gets good lighting on either side of the photo. Um, another good thing to consider is position. So if you want to record something, maybe you live in an area that has bears or something, you want to set it a little higher so that uh, you can get those good photos of the, of the bears or full photos. I mean, you have mountain lions a little lower, but still wide enough that you can get those bigger animals. For our purposes, we don't have bears here on the foundation and probably our biggest mammals are either bobcats or coyotes. So we won't set it too high, probably at around waist level. And then we'll also set them uh, near some sort of either like a water feature because every animal needs water or we'll set them near a game trail. So there's a small one right here along this water feature. And those are some of the things we consider uh, when we're setting these photos, or setting these cameras. Another thing to consider is um, whether you want photos and or videos. Videos are great. You can watch them and get some really cool footage, but they do eat your batteries a lot and they take up a lot of space on your SD cards. So these are just basic Bushnell game cameras. They open up just like this. And so here's how we turn it on. Our settings are all right here. We have it on low auto shutter speed. Our SD is already inside and here are our batteries. Um, depending on what you want to set on, this is where you'd set it, um, what type of video you want, whether it be higher or lower resolution, or um, the size of photos that you want, depending on the pixels that you want, so on and so forth. So I have it switched on right now. I'm gonna turn it off until we're ready to switch it back on. This just closes right here. You can strap it onto a T-post or an actual feature that you have here. So in our case, we're gonna strap it onto this tree here. And we're gonna face it towards this water feature. A little lower, so we can hopefully get some things coming up and drinking at the water feature. So we're just gonna tighten this up. You can tie it again if you want just to make sure it stays. You can tuck these in, like so. If you live in kind of a more grassland open area, you can set them up using T-posts. Like I said, you'll just need a T-post driver or some sort of fence driver and a T-post. Same concept. Make sure it's nice and tight and secure. I'm going to open it up and flip it on. Make sure the screen turns on. We've got it preset to taking photos already. And we'll come back in the morning and check these again. Depending on the size of card that you have and or the batteries that you have, you have to come and check these out either more frequently or less frequently. Um, some researchers can leave them for two or three days. Some people have to come and check them, especially if they're recording videos, every night or every other day. So we'll leave that setting overnight and we'll come back and check them tomorrow. Thanks for watching.